In this video, we want to find holes in vertical asymptotes for a group of functions called rational functions. And remember, a rational function has this format. It is a polynomial divided by another polynomial. Well, how do I find holes and vertical asymptotes for rational functions? Step one, factor the numerator and denominator of the rational function. Step two, if c is a zero of a factor in the denominator that cancels out, there is a hole in the graph when x equals c. Just to remind you, what does this mean? If I have a factor, say x minus two, what is the zero that goes with that factor? The zero is when x minus two equals zero or x equals two. So if you have a factor, x minus c, and it totally reduces out of the denominator, it totally cancels out, then there's a hole in the graph at x equals c. However, again, if you have a factor of x minus c, and it does not cancel out of the denominator, then you have a vertical asymptote when x equals c. Okay, let's look at our first example. Here I have a rational function as it's a polynomial divided by a polynomial. Remember, step one was to factor the numerator and the denominator. This is a fairly easy one as the leading coefficient is a one. So I need two numbers that multiply to positive 28 and add to negative 11. So they multiply to a positive, add to a negative. That means the sign is the same. They both have to be minus. Two numbers that multiply to 28 and add to negative 11, I think a negative 7 and negative 4. Now we need to factor the denominator. Again, leading coefficient is 1, so I'm going to have an x and an x. Multiply to a negative, it says my signs are different. I need two numbers that multiply to negative 35 and add to negative 2. So I think I'm going to have negative 7 and positive 5. So now I've totally factored it, and now we need to see does anything reduce. Well, if you notice, the x minus 7 totally reduce, and so my function f of x is equal to x minus 4 over x plus 5 as long as x minus 7 doesn't equal 0 or as long as x doesn't equal 7. So now I've factored and reduced. Now remember the step said that if your factored in the factor in the denominator totally reduces, you're going to have a hole. So that means we're going to have a hole at where x minus 7 equals 0 or when x equals 7. To find the coordinates of the hole, we already know the x coordinate is 7. To find the y coordinate, we're going to plug 7 into this. So we get 7 minus 4 over 7 plus 5, which is 3 over 12, which is 1 fourth. Therefore, what is the coordinates of my hole? 7, 1 fourth. So now we've found the hole. Do I get left with any factors still in the denominator? Yes, I still have an x plus 5. So that means I have a vertical asymptote. And from now on, I'm going to write VA for vertical asymptote, where the, the factor in the denominator did not reduce out. So I get x plus 5 equals 0. So it's when x equals negative 5. And remember, if you're ever asked for a vertical or horizontal asymptote or a slant asymptote, it must be an equation of a line. Remember, this is the equation of a vertical line. Now let's look at the next example. Again, I have a rational function as I have a polynomial divided by a polynomial. 
so I need to factor. But luckily in this one, my denominator is already factored for me. So now all I have to do is factor my numerator. Again, it's an easy one since the leading coefficient is 1 on the x squared. Two numbers that multiply to a negative. I know I have to have opposite signs. Two numbers that multiply to negative 15 and add to 2. I think a plus 5 and minus 3. And so I have factored this. And so now, does anything reduce? My x minus 3's totally reduce out. So here is the simplified version of my function as long as x does not equal 3. So these two functions are the same except at the point when x equals 3. So now do I have any holes or vertical asymptotes? Remember, holes are when I have a factor that totally reduces out of the denominator. Did that happen in this case? Yes. So I'm going to have a hole when x minus 3 equals 0, or x equals 3. And how do I find the y-coordinate of the hole? We plug 3 up here. So y equals 3 plus 5, which equals 8. So what are the coordinates of my hole? 3, 8. Now in this example, do I have any vertical asymptotes? Notice I have no denominator besides a 1 left when I've done my reducing. So step 2 are no vertical asymptotes. Now let's look at this example. I have another rational function here. Since I have a polynomial over a polynomial, the numerator is already factored. Now, can I factor the denominator? Be really careful on this one. This is the sum of two squares. The sum of two squares does not factor over the integers. Therefore, even though it might be tempting to try and factor it, it doesn't factor. So I cannot have any factor that totally reduces out of the denominator. So that means I have no holes. And now, do I have any vertical asymptotes? So this factor, x squared plus 16, is left in the denominator. So to see if there are any vertical asymptotes, set it equal to 0. Remember, this doesn't factor over the integers. Remember, the difference of two squares factors. The sum of two squares does not. So what we have to do is solve it by taking square roots. So I'm going to subtract 16 from both sides. So x equals plus or minus the square root of negative 16. And what is the square root of a negative number? Remember, this is plus or minus 4i. So vertical asymptotes have to be real numbers. So are there any real numbers that make the denominator equal to 0? A 4i, a negative 4i, real numbers? No. So these are not real numbers. Therefore, there are no vertical asymptotes. So this rational function has no holes and no vertical asymptotes.